Charles Oliveira. All right, so here we go. The weight and the height gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter. He's taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big call for Schwartzland. Now he gets back to range. Oliveira doing the right things defensively. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Way to hide that leg kick. Nice right there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Oh, huge block! Three minutes remain in the round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that nose. Huge knee land. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny does. It doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Oliveira gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. And they separate. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. He gets caught with that punch. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there, DC. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was going to do. He didn't hide his takedown. You knew from the moment this fight started, he was going to go get a shot off. The opponent was ready, and he defended it perfectly. Liver kick. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Round two next. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it. He'll look to keep winning the fight with this kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Good punch, Lance. You can really limit the ball. Oh! Dude, hurt him. Hurt him up. Go get him. Takedown defense holds up. Massive knee lands from the tight punch. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Straight punch lands. Oh! That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be over the critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. What a jab. Oh! 
start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left hook there. Continue with more activity here in round two. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Oliver. And he landed the right hand there. He's, he's lifting up. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick. Oliveira gets caught with that punch. Thirty seconds to go now. Oh! So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Nice uppercut by the champion. All right, well, his kick the game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him, too. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, here's a kick to the body, blocked, though, by Oliveira. Well, he hasn't really showed it. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. And they separate. Unable to connect with a right hook. Oh, that's a nice strike. Got the single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Back to the feet now. Blocks the shot. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent you're shooting, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that you want to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up with the fight stand. Nice punch there by Oliveira. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Lee. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now, that can't feel good. Well, not much of a setup there, misses with the left hook. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh, nice right hand. Again, he's put that one appeared to stun him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. 
beautifully timed and placed kick there by Oliveira. Ooh, big knee. Looking to set up a knee of his own. Good Oliveira gets absolutely punished by that head kick. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus two. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight. Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. This is combo there. trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head. Oh, nice. Oh! There it is. And this might just be a matter of time. tonight here by way of submission and he bided his time there he stayed patient waited for an opening and then when it was there he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight all right let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight champ i mean you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard he's so skilled he's so tricky and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory Well, hard to do. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, so here we go with round one and feel. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Just misses with a left hook there. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Circling to his right. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Countering, it looks like with a bomb flu choke, or maybe we should call it the OSP now, but trying to get out of the guillotine by submitting his opponent. Incredible. Posturing up now, somehow stays in the fight. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Oliveira's pass attempt denied. 
Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Now looking to do something with that left arm. He's isolated. And this might just be a matter of time. Absolutely, he finishes his opponent by way of submission. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground. DC, talk us through the highlight. He's such a... Right. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body. It could end the night. Whiffs on the straight right hand. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Scuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Right hand punches the clinch. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Just out of the range with that right hand. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round. The big moment in it, of course, the shot to the liver that buckled his opponent. He heard him bad. He went right to the liver. Boom, landed it on the sweet spot, and was very surprised that opponent, his opponent was able to stand up to him. But he's going down the right path. He needs to continue to throw these strikes to the body. Kick there by Lee. 
Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counter after blocking shots. Nice. Just misses with the jet. Big leg kick land. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, <laughs> don't you? You love that jab. Oh, head kick blocked, though, by Oliveira. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, you will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Nice head kick. Next there with the punch. Some real power shots here. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hand. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over leg kicks. Start to see the damage, not only in the leg, but in the facial expression right. of his opponent. Throws the right hand there. Oliveira's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh! Takedown defense holds up. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Oh! And this might just be a matter of time. Not tapping out tonight. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestling. Do you believe it? Oh, and there comes the stoppage. Wow, what a fight. Wow, so how about that? Just before the end of the round, he lands an absolutely huge shot to drop his opponent. The referee wisely jumps in furiously to stop the fight. How about it? He catches the other guy just at the end of the round. Maybe his opponent was looking forward to the stool in the next round. Now he won't see it. What a result here tonight. So here we go with round one. The tension is palpable. On one side, you've got one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division taking on a true submission specialist. Yeah, he's taking on a true submission specialist. And when you talk about submission specialists, nobody matches up to this guy. He is that good at getting you to the ground and choking you up. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Good strike there by Oliveira. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Can't take many of those left check. Big head kick land. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whenever your opponent knows that you're going to try to take him down, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it. He tried to just shoot a blind shot and got some visits as you would expect it to. Oh, big knee there for Oliveira. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? 
punch over the top. It up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beating his leg up. Just what he needed there. Beautiful strikes. Oh, spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Whiffs on the right hand. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. All right, single collar tie now. Right hand punches the clinch. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Beautiful body. Ten seconds now to go in the round. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so there is the horn. We have gotten to the end of the round, and after he got buckled with that little shot, I didn't think we'd get here. No, it did not look like we would get here. It did not seem like he would be able to stand up to that punch. But he did. He lives to fight another day. Let's see what he does with the opportunity. to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Ooh, what a punch. Olivera's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of strength. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to get too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And he caught the kick. Big head kick. Nice loop and bunch. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, huge head kick. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got it the corner for very bad. Oh! Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one, so he continues to slow his opponent down and Nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Etsy Barbo. How he lands those beautiful leg kicks. No wind-up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is going to take tonight in this fight. Nice punch there by Lee. That takedown attempt without issue. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oliveira's got the tie clinch now. Beautiful body kick. Oh, beautiful combination of kicks. 
Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh. Oh, damaging knee to the head. That will land it clean. Puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Ready to fight. Ready. Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. <laughs> Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nice strike. Pretty good right hand. Hands high, hands high. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Yep, right hand over the top. Hard shots landing on both sides here. And they separate. Nice punch lands over the top. And they separate. Oh, that's a good right hand. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Switch, he lands the ball. Oh, and he connects there. Oliveira's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. Once again, employing the knee. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get Double his attention. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed. Oh, he's going to attack the triangle choke here. So Charles Oliveira going submission hunting here again, DC. He trains out of Houston, Texas, the native Brazilian on paper right now. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He, oh, he might have got him with a choke. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in a fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction, you throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit. Oh! What a fantastic strike. Oh! Huge right hand! On the ground and pound strikes continue. To rain down the opponent, better move out of harm's way. The referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, to try to.
to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oliveira doing the right things defensively. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. There's no give. Oh, that looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's done. He's done. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, wow. Oh. Why is he not recognizing this right now? He's got to recognize this is dangerous. This is a dangerous position. It's in there deep. There you go. Submission in that fight, really strong work. You can see the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. Now right, let's take a look back at the now. You ready to fight? You ready? Sure. All right, so here we go with round one, and on one side, whoa! Is blocked. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Big body kick. Able to thwart the single leg takedown attempt there. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knee fly. Ooh, now he's got the tie plumb, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. It's such a fast leg kick. Effective punch there by Lewis. Leg kick. Single collar tie there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Under two minutes to go in the round. And they separate. Oh! Massive kick to the head. Oh, straight right. Now goes in and Secures the takedown. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Back mount now. He's going to start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. trouble the sheer will is is really remarkable to watch oh trying to pass here but Dikembe Mutombo style he gets denied block great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter five minutes in the books all right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. 
punch into that clinch this way. Right? He has no answer for your clinch. He's not defending the right way. He's open for those knees, those elbows. All of that is working. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Please kick to the body is blocked. Liver kick. <laughs> Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Oh, spinning back this lands. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but... Oh! Dude's hurt. Serves him up. Go get him. That was a jab. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Big punch land. Boom. Oliveira gets up. The question beckons, though, for how long. He still looks like he hasn't quite recovered. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind-up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, man. He needs to start looking for finish on because he's got it to the point very bad. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up to see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots. Unbelievable! Shot. Unbelievable! A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. all right here now bruce buffer with the official decision Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Well, whether you're a boxer or a mixed martial artist, you want to compete at Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. And dating to 2016, a lot of UFC's best have gotten that opportunity. Absolutely, J.A. And when you grow up as a fighter, especially a heavyweight, it is your dream to headline MSG and fight for the heavyweight championship in the world. I got that honor. And I can almost feel the ghost of Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, all those great fights those guys had at MSG, I felt as if on that night that I retained my... That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Big left hand there inside. Oh, big elbow. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Nice leg kick land. Hip over when he throws that kick. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Oliver. What a punch. Takedown defense holds up. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice kick landed there by Oliveira. He is all about that left kick to the body. Effective punch there by Lee. Oliveira gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, wow, those leg kicks are already taking effect. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. 
Oliveira gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocks any attempt to get past his guard. Looks like he's going after the leg. We'll see if he can get the submission. Oh! He might get a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round. A lot of high-level leg kicking going on there, champ. And he did a great job of hiding it. He wasn't giving any sign that he was going to throw those leg kicks. That's why you didn't see his opponent check any of the kicks and it won't take many more for him to really damage the mobility of the other combatants. Goes back to that left kick once again. Blocks the shot. Big kick. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land this fight. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, strong punch there by Oliveira. That was a thudding leg kick. Checks the leg kick. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, he's going to shut your body off. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. He is going after that overhand right. Oh, and he caught the kick. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Flip of the right hand. Right hand upstairs. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at the control of the posture as he lands that knee. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice body kick right on the elbow. Kick attempt, they're blocked. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, he got a real good two. Final seconds here of round two. And that's the end of round number two. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down.
All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kicks. Oh! Right hand on hook. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact post. Oh. Holy smokes. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Hammer fist here by Lee. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. Oh! He's going to turn on the elbow, and he's going to chase the submission finish. Finish what a beautiful Kimura finish by this great fight. And I don't care how high your threshold is for pain. When you're in that compromised state, better to tap and fight another guy. It's so crazy because people think the pressure's on your arm. It's all your shoulder. When somebody has a really good Kimura, it feels like you're gonna break your shoulder. That's why you have to tap. All right, let's take a look back. And you ready to fight? Ready. All right, so here we go with round one, and fear is not a factor for him. He feels so confident in all of his skills. He don't care what John. What do you got? John, what it do doesn't matter. John, it doesn't matter. It does not matter how well you see yourself as a grappler. This guy's just a different level. Yeah. This guy's next level. You want to avoid this at all costs. Maintain distance. Do not go and grapple this guy. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Good stick. Single collar tie now. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's going right from the jet, too. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the killer. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Nice punch in there. Looking for that left hand, just fixed. Oh! Wow! Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Charles Oliveira. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Huge knee lands from the tight punch. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, collar tie. Real nice body kick land. Oliveira gets up and decides to take this fight back to the feet despite having a dominant position on the ground. I mean, look at the commitment to kick him in this fight. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the bottom. 
going for the head kick. No dice. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. 30 seconds now to go in round one. 20 seconds left. Oh, big shot lands. Oh, nice jab, counter for him there. Round two is next. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two underway. Nice defense there, huge block. Hook shot lands. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice punch there. Ball combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut. John, I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Oh, he's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left. the takedown no problem look at the torso on the right side major bruising and it's only getting worse he's back in the position this is where he has done a ton of good work here punch 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 to the head from the clinch got the single collar tie so a much different approach from him here in round two it took him a while to find the range get in his striking rhythm he has found it here and as a result has really picked up the pace in round two yeah he's mixed it all up lee gets absolutely pelted by that head kick oh just out of range with that punch attempt all right single collar tie now Nice body kick. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Nice punch there by Lee. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. So there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Got to talk about that knockdown. What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot, got the knockdown. You have to be feeling good as he walked back to the corner. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship. Oh, Blocks that strike. Big head kick land. Well, most 
fighters can't keep. Whoa! Nice little shot lands. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Olivera's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. There are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> and a great performance by this young man. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And we go... Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, so here we go. Round one is underway. I can't... Whoa! Yeah. Oh, nice punch there by Oliveira. Well, perhaps a side of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the count. Hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Nice guillotine tip here. He's going for the choke. He should be defending right now. Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Get side mount, and now maybe the Von Flu choke will be there. Oven St. Pru has got to like that transition there. done by submission tonight champ he does a great job of staying patient he doesn't rush or panic you are never safe when you're oh you ready to fight ready Go. all right so here we go with round one the tension is palpable on one side you've got one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division taking on a true submission specialist yeah he's taking on a true submission specialist and when you talk about submission specialists, nobody matches up to this guy. He is that good at getting you to the ground and choking you up. Flush right hand is true. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it. Beautiful punch. And he lands that side kick. Wow. Actually got the takedown. Olivera's trying for a submission here. Oh! Oh! 
and this might just be a matter of time. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Oliveira. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. All right, rubber guard for him now, DC. We haven't seen you lean on this in the octagon. No, I, I can't get those legs up there. Come on, man, look at these tree trunks. They don't go up around nobody's shoulders. I like to keep my feet on the ground, and I like to grind. That's what I'm known for. But this guy has now. The guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Oh, wow, oh! And this might just be a matter of time. Submission defense there. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Charles Oliver. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Lee gets touched by that leg kick uh, attempt. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, I mean, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. Okay, listen. When this fight gets to the ground, I'm okay with you being on top. I need you to keep your position. And you did. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job fighting the range to land those punches. Liver kick. Oh. He blocks the punch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Right punches there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. Oh! here, but just out of range. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Oliveira doing the right things defensively. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, and he caught the kick. Great punch landing with so much power. All right, so a near-perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first take out of the fight, and they say if at first you don't succeed... Try, try again, was able to get him down. Persistence, hey. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. There he is, he's moving to the finisher position. 
Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go slow. He might have got it with a choke. Wow. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent in very bad. Trying to recover full guard there. Working from the top here. Pretty good grounded pound here by Lee. Armour's been isolated, but he picks him up and slams him down. He wow. lifted him through the air, slammed him on his back, and moved right into side control to get out of danger. Beautiful job to not just turn defense into offense, but also to end up in a dominant position. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty in this position. Well, he's got his back now. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Oliver. Trying to set up a submission now. Oh, nice. Oh, we're getting a finish here. It's in there deep. There you go. Somehow stays in the fight. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Olivera's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. Oh, now he's in trouble. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the other. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. 
Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Takedown defense holds up. Oliveira gets caught with that punch. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Big kick lands. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Back to the jab now, no good. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Big double leg, double cheese. Setting up a sub here. might just be a matter of time. He got it. He got it, John. How about it? Gets the win by submission. Beautifully executed there on the ground. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So on the strength of a monumental submission win tonight, the celebration is on for the UFC featherweight champion of the world, a most deserving king of the